can't do it. Yeah. All you have to do is step on it. The scale does the rest. Now, come I on. Can't. I can't. I'm too nervous. I think this diet has affected my mind. You know, last night I had a dream where I turned down Harry Belafonte for some strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> Come on, Nell, quit stalling. You've got your weight winners meeting at 8 o'clock. I know, Julie. That's why I'm afraid to get on the scale. Nell, I don't think it's good for you to put yourself through this every day. <laughs> yeah, but if I don't get on the scale, how am I to know how much I lost? Easy. You weigh the refrigerator, take out all the food, and weigh the refrigerator again. <laughs> Subtract the second number from the first number, then take the difference and add that to whatever you weighed last week and subtract that from what you weighed the week before, and that's how much you've lost. <laughs> Get out of my face. To help. A Jedi priest couldn't help me now. Come on. Come on, now. Okay, 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 okay. You liar! You liar. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> huh? Um, I had my foot on the scale. See, see, I figured that when when I took my foot. Off the scale, you'd see how much the weight came down and you'd feel a lot better. Don't you feel better? <laughs> now I feel better. Now, maybe you shouldn't go to that meeting tonight. Are you kidding? I want to go to Weight Winners. I love Weight Winners. I mean, I give meaning to their slogan, when you lose, you win. And I have lost a lot of weight and I am very proud of myself. For the first time in my life, I feel like a winner. Now, would you pick up some more pistachio? <laughs> What's wrong? Your eyes look funny. Don't you recognize hate when you see it? <laughs> Boy, I'm glad you're going to that meeting tonight. You know, you always feel a lot better after you see James. Mm -hmm. J James says, and uh -huh. James thinks, and, oh, James, hey, James, so, and what does James have to do with anything? You tell us. Why do you have his name doodled all over your diet book? Samantha, I do not. Come on, Nell. What does he look like? How much money does he have? <laughs> How fat is he? <laughs> well, not that it makes any difference to me. But he is gorgeous. Oh, is he gorgeous. <laughs> and he's successful, and he's already lost all the weight he needs to lose. Then what's he doing at Weight Winners? Well, he stays with the group for maintenance. Otherwise, he might go on an eating binge. Mm. Well, what kind of ice cream does he like? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell a lot about people by the kind of ice cream they like. Right. And if they like pistachio, you should kill them. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Nell. I can't help it if I can eat whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Knowing that 20 years from now, you'll be going to these meetings with me. <laughs> The bad boy says to me, hey, lady, what are you going to do, build a cow? <laughs> oh, well, this is it. Come on, buddy. What do you know? It seems he shamed two pounds off me. Oh. Woo! <laughs> well, that's everybody but Nelly. We've saved the best for last. Come on, huh? Nell. Oh, come huh? on. Now? I sure am, James. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, yeah. You want to hear my confession, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. Well, you see, I have this friend who's trying to quit smoking, just like I'm trying to lose weight. Well, anyway, my friend goes to one of these places where they tell you to smoke six packs of cigarettes a day. Oh, so that when you look in the ashtray, 
All you see is these ugly cigarette butts, and it makes you so sick. Uh -huh. You never want another cigarette. So I say, hey, Nell, try it with some brownies. <laughs> but the problem was, when I looked at the plate, there were no brownie butts. <laughs> there weren't even brownie crumbs. <laughs> oh, well, to the scale. Yeah. Okay, what's the bad news? Oh, it's not so bad. Since last week, you have lost exactly nine ounces. Well, See you, Andre. Hey. Nine ounces now. Hey, that's not bad. Oh, I'm getting there. You sure are. You look great. I love that dress. Dress? Yes, dress. You're wearing a dress. <gasps> oh, thank God. <laughs> You're a funny lady now. Oh, I am? Oh, sure. You just bring this whole class to life. Oh, I do? Yeah. You know, there's something else I'd like to tell you, too. What? Well, I think that... Is that my book? No. It's got my name written. No, on. that says Jane. This is Jane's book. Hi, yeah, this is Jane's book. Am I interrupting book. anything? Uh, yes. No. I, I mean, no. Come on in, Vanessa. We're just talking. <laughs> Actually, my aerobics class just broke, and I wanted to catch James. But, well, darling, you can catch just about anything in that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James, excuse me. I'm going to run down to the office, OK? OK, I'll, I'll wait for you here. Okay. Well, what can I do for you, Vanessa? I need some advice from a tax consultant. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, here is my card. I am at your service. Call me anytime. Oh, thanks. Good. See, I've been doing some modeling, and I really need some tax deductions. Is there anything you can do for me? I could take off your clothes. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Hi. Bye. She mad at me? Not at you, about you. How about that? Hmm. I'm coming! I'm coming! Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Sam. Where's Nell? In the refrigerator. <laughs> you mean in the kitchen? No, I mean in the refrigerator. Oh, you bet. <laughs> Hi, Nell. It's me, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. <laughs> I came over to find out what's wrong. Nothing's wrong. But obviously, something's upset you. Who's upset? I certainly hope so. <laughs> there must be a hotline or something you call when a weight winner falls off the wagon. Vanessa, please leave me alone. I am through with weight winners. <laughs> if there is a God, there will be some whipped cream in the refrigerator. <laughs> there is. Oh, Hello? Hi, this is Vanessa, and I'm here with Nell, and she's about to eat like there's no tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Here. Here! <laughs> Hello. No, I really don't need your help. James. You gonna do what? Help. Thanks a million, Vanessa. James is coming over here in five minutes. Good. Vanessa, you can leave now. I'm not going anywhere. You just had to call James so you could watch me make a fool of myself, didn't you? I 
had to do something. Look what you're doing to yourself. You have to realize why you're about to binge like this. I am not about to binge. I am about to eat because I am hungry. <laughs> you're not hungry, you're horny. <laughs> that I'm in love with James <laughs> just because I'm going to have a little snack? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, Vanessa, please. How can any man have any respect for any woman who doesn't have any self-control? If you really feel that way, then why are you going on a bed? I don't know. Oh. Vanessa, I'm... <laughs> I'm so scared. I am so afraid of being hurt. <laughs> I guess... I, I think that... I think I like the man too damn much. Vanessa. What a world. I can't believe it. Third down and one, and the coach tells him to punt. <laughs> yeah? Oh, uh, hi, I'm James Rowland. Oh, yeah, come on in. Thank you. I'm Carl Kaminsky. Oh, how are you? Yeah, I've heard a lot about you. Uh, Who is it, Dad? Brenda Nels, honey. <laughs> Uh, yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm Sam. I'm Julie. I'm Katie. I'm your father. Get lost. <laughs> Have you ever heard Nell sing? Have you ever seen her dance? Are you really a tax accountant? What is this, the third degree? Leave him alone. We just want James to know what a wonderful woman Nell is. Yeah, she's self-educated, well-versed in all subjects, and has an unusual grasp of the political situation, both foreign and domestic. Yeah, they're installing a hotline from Nell's room to the Kremlin. Now, come on, all of you, out of here. Come on, out, 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 everybody, out. James came here to see Nell. How smart do you have to be to know that you shouldn't bother the man? I'm having a little tax problem. <laughs> Oh, no big deal. I just had some insulation put in the old house, and I was wondering if I could write it off. Well, yes, you could get an energy tax credit, 15%. Ah, wonderful country, isn't it? <laughs> Up to $300. Those creeps in Washington stick it to you every time, don't they? Uh, Carl, I think I better get to Nell. Apparently, she's having some oh, kind yeah, of problem. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Right through there. She's in the kitchen. They always are. <laughs> 300 bucks. Nell? What are you doing with all that food? What has got her so upset? Vanessa, what have you done to her? I didn't do anything to her! Then why is she in a food frenzy? You idiot, because she's in love with you! <gasps> oh my God. Nell, I'm so sorry. Uh, that's all right, Vanessa. <sighs> I'll let myself out. <laughs> I'll call you later, honey. Come here. For what? Now, come here. Come in. Look. We are going to walk. <laughs> I thought this is what you do with drunks. 
practically the same disease. James, I can still drive. <laughs> hey, want to run over to McDonald's? Walk. That's <laughs> what are you doing? I haven't done anything. What are you doing? What is what? wrong with you? Why are you doing this, Nell? Don't give up now. You're winning. You're a wonderful, sensational, beautiful woman. If you eat all this food, how are you going to feel when we go out tomorrow night? You want to go out with me? I accept. <laughs> Look, I got an appointment. I got to go. Pick you up at eight? die when he sees you. Oh, I hope not, honey. He has so much to live for. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hi, kids. Hi, now. <laughs> Boy, what a day. Uh, Dad, aren't you gonna say something to Nell? Oh, yeah. What's for dinner? <laughs> Dad, look at her. <laughs> Nell, you look great. Oh. Does this mean no dinner? <laughs> oh, Chief, I wouldn't let you starve. I made reservations for you at the Costa de Ribs. <laughs> it's James. Oh, oh. Calm down. Don't what? be so anxious. Go upstairs and make him wait. Why? <laughs> That's how you handle a man. Works for me every time. Anything works for her every time. Now get upstairs. Hurry up. Count to 500 and then you make your entrance. Hey, that's a good idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, 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 seven. Women. <laughs> Hi, James. Come on in. Hey, Carl. Thanks. Nell's upstairs stalling. <laughs> Can I get you something to drink? No, no, no. Oh, but I've got something here for you. This, my friend, is going to save you a lot of money. Oh, thank you, James. Uh, this is very nice of you. Listen, you got a couple of minutes to go up in the attic and check out the insulation? Uh, no, not really. All right, well, then I'll just get my cost sheet so you can look them over. I wouldn't want to cheat the government. <laughs> 199 500 Well, hello, James. I do hope I didn't keep you waiting. I was just adding some finishing touches. I don't see how you can ever improve upon perfection. Me neither. <laughs> oh, you look sensational. Oh, oh, mm. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. Could I make a quick call? Help yourself. Uh, it's sort of business. Oh, well, why don't you use the phone back there in my bedroom? It's quiet in there. The chief just had the walls insulated. <laughs> Nell, 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 Nell. Shh. How's it going? Has he swept you off your feet? Shh. Did he ask you to marry him? <laughs> so Matthew just got here two minutes ago. <laughs> well, how long does he need? Well, one look at you and he can tell you're the best catch in town. Oh, bless you, my child. Bless you. Where's James? He's using the phone. What's an estimated income tax report? Samantha. Where'd you get that? James Rowland. Must have fallen out of his case. Now, this is none of your business. You have no right reading this. Well, how much money is he going to make? It's none of your business. <laughs> Did 
just enough to support um, a wife and three kids. Why, that lousy bum. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Three kids. Of course, so he's married. Big deal. I told you there was nothing between us. Really? Really? Look, now, if you want, See, I'll... Listen, I can handle this. Why don't you just go to dinner? Go to dinner. Okay, come on. Let's move it, kids. That's yeah, a good idea, Where are we Dad. going? Where are we going to go? We're all going to dinner at the Casa de Ribs. Oh, good. It's Thursday night. They've got live accordion music. <laughs> Go. I'm OK. Hey, I'm sorry if I took too long in the... Oh. Woman, I can't get over how sensational you look. Oh, James, I just can't tell you how grateful I am to you. Oh, I'm going to collect on that later. <laughs> 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 no, for real, you make me feel beautiful. You make oh. me feel desirable, and that really means a lot to me right now. Well, I mean it, Mel, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, shouldn't you call your wife and the three kids first? <laughs> Nell, I was going to explain that to you. I'm sorry. No, I, no, I didn't... no, 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 no. If you thought it was worth telling a lie to score with Nell Hopper, honey, that's a lie that I can live with. Then you're not mad? Mad? Mad at a man like you. You're handsome, you're charming, you look at your dress, baby. You even have an expensive attache case. Yes. You're something else now. So are you, honey. You know, speaking of your attache case, uh -huh. I don't want you to lose it, you know? Yeah. It's gonna be out here by your car. <laughs> I guess you won't be coming to Weight Winners anymore? Oh, yes. I'll be there every week, James. You see, I am a winner. 